I'm Pastor Lillian. For today's devotional, we're in story 238. That corresponds with Luke chapter 1. The title of the story is Hoping and Praying. Over 400 years had passed since Malachi told God's people to be ready. God was coming. God would appear. He was coming to visit. And so they awaited. They awaited a Messiah, and the word Messiah literally means God's promised deliverer. They hoped and prayed for a savior. The anticipation for this Messiah was so ingrained in the culture that during the 400 years, every time a child was born, the family wondered, could this be the promised Messiah, the savior? Would this child be the national hero who would lead the people to freedom from foreign occupation? Could this child be the promised Messiah, the great warrior, or the promised good ruler? The people of God hoped and prayed for the Messiah to come. They hoped and prayed that one day soon, God would bring the Messiah to save his people. Now the anticipation for the Messiah was foundational. It was so foundational for the people of God. And so as we enter into the fall and arrive in the New Testament, we will meet the fulfillment of the promised Messiah, who was foretold by the prophets as God's chosen servant. He is the suffering servant, the king whose throne is established forever. He is the righteous branch, the good shepherd. And as you meet Jesus in these stories, our prayer is that you would meet him anew as he walked the earth in our history. Our prayer is that you would encounter him in our present today. And our prayer is that it will inform us in how we hope and pray for his return because friends, Jesus is coming again. The word Maranatha is found in 1 Corinthians 16, 22. It's made up of two Aramean words, Maran and Atha, meaning our Lord comes, or our Lord is coming. Maranatha, will you say it with me? Maranatha, Maranatha, amen.